What is up guys? Welcome back to the Motorhead YouTube channel. Today's video, we're back to work on our Honda S2000. And I know we said we weren't gonna work on it and just drive it how it is. But unfortunately, we found an issue. We seen some coolant leaking from the back over here. And we actually honestly thought the head gasket was blown, but we did some research and this has some Honda gaskets. And it also has a Honda gasket on the intake manifold. And people are saying that these gaskets leak and it actually drips to the back here. And we actually noticed one of the bolts was loose on it. So I, we're pretty sure that is our problem. So we ordered a brand new Honda dealership gasket and we're gonna replace it. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so we wanna get it onto the four post lift. So we gotta move the McLaren and then move the other tub. so it actually is the next morning we got carried away working on the f550 project i don't know if you guys caught this in the latest video if you watch all the videos you notice we started making the headache rack it's looking very good so far be sure to stay up to date on the f550 videos but anyways what we want to do right now is we want to pull this car inside and we got to take off the intake manifold because it's got a leaking gasket so let's go ahead and get this thing inside and see what's up. All right guys, so check this out. We have a leak on the intake manifold, which also down there blocks coolant from leaking out of the motor. And uh, this does have a Han data intake manifold and it is our intake manifold gasket. As you can see here, the throttle body gasket is Honda data also. And um, I know they do increase power, but for now I want this car to be reliable. And uh, I'm gonna take that off, put stock, new bolts. So let's go ahead and get this uh, intake manifold off. All right guys, so I removed quite a few components. I have removed the injector rail, the wiring harness. So now what I wanna focus on is the alternator and the tensioner. All right, guys, last bolt. Oh, we got one more. All right, there we go. We got the intake manifold off. As we can see here, we had some leak. Don't know exactly where it's from. We're about to figure that out. All right, guys, so we got everything stripped down. We're going to really quickly run to Honda, grab the new gaskets, new bolts, and get this all put back together. All right, guys, so we made it to the dealership. We're gonna go inside and get these parts. All right, guys, so we got everything we need. We got the new gaskets, we've got new bolts, we got some thread sealant. Let's get this all put back together.
All right, guys, so we're warming it up right now. We'll get some antifreeze into it. We're gonna see if it's leaking. It's not leaking so far. That's good, but we're gonna let it warm up. That way the system can burp. All right, guys, so we just got the gasket on. We filled it full of coolant, and uh, we're doing a test drive right now. It appears that uh, uh, it's not overheating. The heat works. We burped the system. So we're gonna go up the street. We've been driving it for a little bit. We went to go get lunch and uh, we're gonna check for a leak. If there's no leak, then we fixed the problem. All right guys, so we got the car onto the lift bay and we need to lift it up in the air. We got a couple of parts we need to install. We're probably gonna start with the fender liners. We have new front fender liners from the dealer. We ordered them from the dealer because on the Red S2000, we ordered some eBay ones and they're very crappy. I'm probably gonna go ahead and order these two. That way I can put OEM ones on my car. So we're gonna put those on and then it is missing this undercar shield. And also we have this NVIDIA Q300 exhaust right here. This is honestly, in my opinion, the best sounding exhaust that they sell for this car. Very nice, and it's gonna be a lot louder than that Grady single exit. I'm actually gonna take the Grady and put it on my red car, so let's get right into this. We got a little care package from the Savage Boys. Our boys up out west, check that out. Go check them out. Got some pretty cool stickers. Very nice. Dang, look at what this is. What? <laughs> Dude, yes sir. Yeah, my here. man. Wait, he knows what's up, dude. These are going to dad right here. Oh, dude. What else you got in here? Clothes? Yeah, I'm gonna do this for you. What do we got in there? Candy? Boys we got candy. some sugar lots. Savage Boys care package. Check this out. And they got shirts in there. Just my favorite. All right, guys, check that out. We got this temporary fix. It's gonna be very strong and it's gonna hold. So we're gonna let that dry up. And while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and install this exhaust. Went ahead and took that Grady off. I mean, yeah, the Grady. We're gonna think about putting it on my car, but I might just sell it and buy this exhaust. Cause like I said, this is the nicest sounding exhaust you can get for this car. Not too loud, not too quiet. It sounds very good. So we're about to get this exhaust on and crank it up. All right, guys, we got this exhaust on. Now we're gonna do a test start, see how she sounds. All right, guys, we got the exhaust on. It sounds amazing. Now we're gonna go ahead and dig into these fender liners. As you can see, they're all tore up. So we got nice new OEM ones for a car of the standard. It definitely needs some nice ones. So let's get these on.
All right, guys, so we just got the fender liners on. It looks really good. We got a brand new undercar tray, buttoned up the bumper. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to sand the car just a little bit with uh, maybe like a 3000 or something and polish it out and give it a good wash. Just that way it looks a bit better. The car's a lot, pretty faded in person. The video it looks a bit more shinier. So I'm going to try to do that right now and we're going to see how it looks. All right guys, so we got her inside. I'm gonna try to buff out the car. I'm gonna try to start with the hood. And as you guys can see, it's a bit dull. Paint's a bit messed up. But eventually we're gonna go over the whole car. So let's see how it works. The rear is a bit better. As you can see, the clear coat is not as messed up. So I think a little bit of paint correction should fix most of this. So the paint is buffing out really well. There is a lot of rock chips and dents, so getting away with just buffing it would not be something you could do to get full price for this car. But I did my best. I'm going to pressure wash the car right now, and then I also want to pressure wash the underside. All right guys, I took care of the undercarriage wash, washed everything. You can see everything is looking really clean. The underside of this car is looking amazing. Look at that, brand new. All right guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We got a lot of work done on the S2000. I'm just really glad we got the coolant leak done. Uh, it was kind of giving me a, a very suspicious feeling of a head gasket, but it wasn't a head gasket. So we're good on that. We buffed up the car just a little bit. And if you like our content, be sure to subscribe and check us out on Instagram at motorhead.co.